I think early on, uh, whatever guitar pick you use is kind of whatever you have available to you. Like in my case, it was whatever they had really cheaply at the shop that was the closest to my house. I wasn't super conscious of what pick I was using until I discovered a Jazz 3. I was probably 12, 13. Well, at first it was a little weird, because I mean, you're holding on to something so small. But once you start playing with it, I found it really beneficial for my picking. You know, and for playing, if you want to play fast, I think it's a great pick to play fast with. I was cutting them for years with this dull blade that I had. And then eventually, uh, when they came out with the Max Grip, so they're perfect for being on stage. You know, it's a wet show. Like, you're covered in sweat, I dump water on my head and shit to cool off. And they hold really nice, and I love them. I've tracked every record with them. They were done in my carbon that my picks are always done in. So I still use these. And I will always have my Jazz 3s. But I've been playing some other picks recently that I like for a bunch of reasons. It's taken from a flow, which is thinner than my Jazz 3s are like 1.5s. So I went down to a 1.0, because this material is really, really stiff. So I found that I was able to go down even to an 88 and still have that kind of response of a really sharp, hard pick, but with hardly any of the thickness. So it's even easier to cross, like if you're playing fast tremolo pick stuff, like on your unwound strings, say. The 1.0, a little bit extra thud and low end. It's very full, doesn't lack any highs, really. It's not muddy, it just has a bigger bottom to it. And then we found that this, the 88, is nice, super percussive, really precise. Doesn't give up much in the way of low end. I know, I like a big low end, but I like a low end that'll crack your ribs when it hits really fast. And this definitely does it. And it also wears, if anything, maybe even better than what the carbon was wearing. Carbon doesn't wear hardly at all, but this shit, like, I did an entire rehearsal on one pick, you know, and that's a drop A tuning and some big gauge strings. I mean, so they will chew up picks, and these things are just fucking bulletproof. So these are what I've been using here. And then I will always have my, my Raider 7 guys. <laughs> 